the Black Series Wave 20 glam shots have been revealed. Also, another vintage collection has a card back shown, an exclusive one too. Also, did you get 12 roses for Valentine's Day from Entertainment Earth? We check out what they look like. Coming up! Welcome everybody to Usual My Television Toy Showcase channel. Today, in this leak video, we are going to check out all the reveals of Wave 20, the glam shots, what they're going to look like, what to expect, side-by-side -side comparison with the prototypes even, and I'll give my little opinion on each and every one of them. There is six in the case. All in all, there's the image of the six, looking pretty good. They've also released images of the six of them loose as well. Very cool. And we're going to start off with Mace Windu. Now, Mace Windu, what a good looking figure. This one, I can't be too harsh on this one. This one looks good. Really, really good. It's a good likeness to the character. Excellent, excellent stuff. To see him in six inch scale now is fantastic. My only downside for this one is maybe the robes are a little bit tatty. I think because they do this often, you'll every kind of Jedi, they just want those big wizard sleeves, I almost want to call them. Always look a bit tatty. They've cut the edges off really quickly. And it's just, yeah, it's okay. It's Mace Windu. Very cool. Mace Windu is one per case. Next up, flawlessly, is the Battle Droid. Now, the Battle Droid, you can't go too wrong with this one because pretty much he hasn't got any human kind of characteristics to him. You don't have to sculpt a face. You don't have to put paint apps to get skin tones right and things like that. Battle Droids are Battle Droids all day long. And believe it or not, they have on Dork's side, for pre-order, you can get a case of eight. A case of eight Battle Droids. That's fantastic. You will be able to build army build in no time. With the Battle Droid as well, if you pre-order the big case, and also when you go into stores, there is two Battle Droids per case. Probably they knew that people would want an army build, so they put more in there. That was a very, very wise decision. Next up is Dryden Voss. Now, Dryden Voss, the image on the box, he looks a lot younger than he should. It's a little bit different. The actual image of Dryden Voss in the package, he seems to have his head tilted down. The images that we saw, I think they were at London Comic Con or revealed at Paris Comic Con. A little bit different, not as dark stripes on the face. His head was up, a little bit different. He's not too bad, not too bad. I would like to see him still in 3.75 inch scale. It's annoying that he's only in this. He was, I think it was cancelled from the 3.75 inch. He'd probably turn up as I roll over figure into the episode 9 movie ones. This figure looks pretty damn good. What would you rate him? Give him a good solid 8 out of 10 for that one. Next up, Admiral Holdo. Now, Admiral Holdo. Of course, a controversial character. This figure here is slightly different from its prototype as well, but it's not terrible. It's it's still very good looking. It, it looks like a character. It looks just like a. The skin tone is the thing that I want to look at because the original image we had that was a glam shot from the prototype, her paint apps on the face were much, much different. Now she seems to have the pastier sort of skin I believe. The eyes are a bit stone dead too. Maybe that's just because we're looking at a glam shot. Maybe when you get it in hand it may be a little bit different. The soft goods on her is very nice. She comes with the blaster and she has a lovely image on the box as well. Not too bad. Also Dorkside is giving us pre-order to get a case of eight Admiral Holdos. Why are they doing this? Maybe they know she's going to be a peg warmer, perhaps, and this is just a way to offload her quickly. <laughs> if you want to buy eight, go right ahead. I'm going to say nothing. Next up, oh, the goodness that is Han Solo. Han Solo Mud Trooper. On the packaging, it just says Han Solo Mim Ban. It is the Mud Trooper version. This is wonderful. And there's, it's the diamond of this collection. It's the one that you're going to want really, really badly. Well, I, I particularly like this one. Uh, a lot of work went into the weathering, the sculpt, the, 
the weapon, the mask thing he's got there. Just wow, wow, wow all day long on this figure. Fantastic. Han Solo knocks it out of the park. This is a great figure. Now we move on to the last figure of this case, which I was particularly keen on. I was really happy. I wanted it. I don't have a 6-inch Padme. I don't think anyone has a 6-inch Padme unless you've customized your own. This one failed it. This one is just mm, the images we see that are supposed to represent how good they're going to be when we get them. We look at these images of Padme, beginning with the box art. She looks a little bit off on the packaging. And then we get closer to the figure and we can see the face is just not perfect. It's what happened. It's the image, uh, to start with the sculpt is a little bit off and then the paint app on top of that doesn't help it because we saw this at Paris Comic Con and this is the image of the prototype and we're like oh it's not too bad nice picture and we thought well maybe when it properly gets released it'll be better and now it looks like it got worse from this glam shot why what happened it does look like one eye is a little bit turned in it's in the forums of the collectors that I see who have seen this image already they have just said what has happened to this what have they done to Padme they will have to do something because no one's gonna buy it if it looks that horrendous <laughs> I really wanted to pick up Padme. I still really want Padme, but I really hope by April when they, this gets released, these are good. These are good to go. The Padme's very nice looking. Pretty good it is. Um, probably they will turn up in shops maybe the last week of March. You'll start to see some leaks of, you know, the stores that go, we'll put them out early. You know, get that box cutter. Yep. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do. Hopefully this figure is good. Um, all of them will be good. You can pre-order the whole case from the following. Dorkside, Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store, In Demand Toys, and guess where in Australia? Nowhere yet. So that's Wave 20. Beautiful, beautiful action figures. Let me know in the comments who you're going to pick up and do you agree with my thoughts on. Padma. Oh, Padma. What have they done? What have they done? Moving on, in a previous video that I talked about, a leaked video, which I'll put the little picture of it up here and the link up there, I talked about everybody getting a bunch of roses for Valentine's Day. The Rose Tico roses. And I was like, if you get them, send me through a picture and I'll show you what they look like. And I'm thinking they're going to wrap them up in cellophane, make them pretty, put a heart on the box. No. Yakface on Instagram shared his picture and it is just literally... A box inside the box you got the entertainment earth box and inside that box is eight figures of rose the four more figures eight and four is twelve twelve roses in a box as action figure collectors what will we do expect that's how action figures are shipped we thought they'd be pretty for valentine's day no they're just like that straight up figures and the fact that you only get them for a dollar each and they're a black series figure which is six inch awesome you can uh, use these for customizing. You can build a little shrine to Rose Tico. You can do whatever you want with them for a dollar. It's up to you. But that's what they look like. Thank you, Yakface, for the picture. Next up, we have an image, an exclusive vintage collection. Now, I last talked about my Gamorrean guard. Now, if you didn't see that video, there it is. There's a link. Excellent. Go back and check him out. Um, one of my subscribers mentioned that the next exclusive is Han Solo dressed in the Stormtrooper outfit. And there's his picture there. Um, let me just say, I thought the next one was going to be this guy, who's coming up, the 41st Elite Corpse Clone Trooper from Revenge of the Sith. Now, I have shown this figure before loose, and when I saw the packaging, his hair looked a little blonde. I was like, oh, that's different. And I thought... Hasbro, I thought they were going to use separate bubbles for helmets and this one does the helmets pretty much beside his face. It looks good. No qualms. Revenge of the Sith. This is this is interesting. I think for the brand new release of Vintage Collection from the 2018, this is the first time we've had a Revenge of the Sith card. Very, very cool. 
is this the next one or is Han the next one? I'm not quite sure. I don't know any dates on these, but it's good to see the action figures card. We don't get to see the back of the card because that will reveal who's coming in what waves and blah, blah, blah. We just see the front. It's very nice. Looking forward to adding it to my exclusive collection. I love my exclusive collection. This is just the best. I do want all the vintage collections, but it's very hard to get them in this country. <laughs> And moving back now to Black Series, we have an image of the Imperial Jump Trooper. Check this out. He is exclusive to GameStop slash EB Games, which will be in Canada. Maybe EB Games in Australia. I'm not quite sure. I've checked out the loose figure before. I've shown it on this channel and it looks cool. He's doing that little groovy, groovy pose where he's like dancing on one foot. I think there's a little stand that comes with this one that a little... It's not a peg hole one, it's one that you slide the foot into, like a, sh like a shoe. Very nice. It's good to see this one on its way. I don't have a release date for that one either. Hmm. But looking forward to them. As you know, Toy Fair is literally days away. The next videos you will see will be all the reveals from Toy Fair. This will be my last leaked video until then. The, the videos that come for Toy Fair will be called leaked as well because they're leaking all the images to us, which is why you tune in. Excellent stuff. Thank you for checking out this leaked video. I've got some merch. We're going to chuck that up on the screen for you. Usual Mike says, hit, tap, slap, leaked, and Usual Mike Television t-shirts, all available in my Redbubble store, along with cups, bags, pillows, and all sorts of other accessories. Go down to the description, there's a link. Check out the Redbubble store, buy yourself something nice. It helps out this channel. Thank you very much. If you'd like to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at usualmike30 or on Instagram at usualmiketelevision. And I don't say this often enough, but if you have an image on the internet that you think I should be aware of, send it through the social medias and I'll get it up here on my channel. If you haven't done so already, hit subscribe. Ooh. Tap the little bell for notifications, slap a like on this video if you've enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. All the best!